This is the brand new Houston Belt Magshift Sequential Shifter. It's been designed from the ground up by one of Sim Racing's most prestigious and highly respected companies. It's built like a tank. It stands out with its subtle curves and unique shape and claims to be the most versatile sequential shifter in the market. The catch? It comes in at well over $400, making it more expensive than even highly regarded sequential and H pattern shifters in the market. The Houston Vault name does carry a lot of prestige, but in this video I'll be reviewing this product telling you all the good and the bad and whether the MagShift is really worth its significant price tag. 36 cars, 3 classes, 10 hours, over 100 participants, and 1 winner. This December 30th, the OC Racing Sim Series will be hosting its second premier race at the American Temple of Speed in Daytona. For 10 hours straight, drivers will be taking the Robo in a challenge to win the last race of the year. From the Porsche 911 RSR to the modern BMW M Hybrid B8, this multi-class adventure is set to be a great end to the year. What's even better, you can drive as well. Head over to the first link in the video description to join the Discord, find a team, and you can have a chance at winning the unreleased OC Racing racing gloves. Sign up at the link below and we will see you out on track. Built almost entirely of metal, Husenbelt's MagShift is a GT-style sequential shifter which, as its name suggests, uses magnets to provide tension in the up and down shifts. It's unique in the sense that it's more versatile than others in the market. Apart from just serving the purpose of up and down shifting, three buttons are found at the base of this unit which serves as a small button box as all three can be binded to whatever you want in game. Using their smart control software, however, you're able to up the functionality of this product even further, as now you can bind time-based secondary functions to every input. This means, for example, that pressing a button once can be bound for one thing, and pressing it and holding it down for a second can make the same button do something else. The same can be achieved when pulling and pushing the shifter, as pulling and holding can be bound to enable neutral, for example. The mounting of the shifter also provides a bit of versatility as you're able to slightly increase or decrease the height and tilt of it using the included U-shaped mounting bracket. Unfortunately, no side mounting is supported and this will only work on PC. Talking about how it works, the MagShift uses two optoelectronic sensors inside the casing to detect inputs and a strong magnet to provide resistance. The visible metallic coil spring provides a small amount of preload but in of itself doesn't override the feeling of the shifting action and inside a small piece of foam dampens its overall noise. Now getting into the good stuff, the shifting mechanism. With the overall up and down shifting resistance adjustable in three ways, you do get ample adjustability to fine tune the shifter to your liking. Although relatively simple, I did find it super tedious to make those changes in resistance as you must use two included torx keys simultaneously, one of which for me was faulty and as such didn't grab onto the bolt half the time. But anyway, once you do make those adjustments, the change of resistance is noticeable, but I wouldn't say night and day either. At its softest setting, it feels way too light in my opinion and you don't get much of a tactile feel whatsoever, and at its highest, you do feel more tension, but also not as much as I was expecting. Granted, this isn't a piece of gym equipment intended to give you an arm workout, but it feels as though many sequential shifters I've used in the past have resistance settings that can go much stiffer than this. Something the MagShift does that competitors don't though is the ability to make the action of upshifting have a higher resistance than that of downshifting or vice versa. This can help add immersion as in some cars the upshifting does feel noticeably heavier. Now with all that said, let's talk about its ninking performance where lots is to be said. Though a great looking product with an undeniably solid build quality, honestly the shifting feel was a little underwhelming. In my opinion, the highest resistance felt the best, but even then I don't get much of a tactile or satisfying feel from either my up or down shifts, and I say this after using essentially most of the mainstream sequential shifters in the market. Though I 
had always known when I had up or downshifted, there was never a noticeable or satisfying click or sound. And with regards to the sound, there's also not too much to say about it. It's not too loud, but also definitely not silent. And in my unit, the spring let out a noticeable squeak in the highest resistance setting, which is not at all what I would expect when spending $400 on a shifter. Adding to all that, the plastic material used on the handle also didn't feel or look premium and it too left me wishing for a little bit more out on track. You see, when looking at competitors, all of which I've made separate views on in the past, many well below this $400 price range use full metal knobs which not only look but feel a lot better. Most of those handles are also made from a cylindrical shape that fit better around my hand when compared to the more rectangular shape of the one found here. Now when considering its in-game performance, the MagShift does perform reliably, with precise and consistent inputs recognized by the game. This level of accuracy is of course critical in sim racing where every millisecond counts, and in this regard, Huesenfeld's MagShift does deliver. However, the lack of an immersive tactile feedback is a significant drawback for a product of this price point. Now in all honesty, and again in my opinion, the Thrustmaster Sparkle Handbrake slash Sequential Shifter, the AOLog Sequential Shifter, the one by Octane Designs, and the Magic DS8X, which my review of is coming soon, all have a more satisfying shifting feel at lower price points. <laughs> Now of course, going with the MagShift, you do get a lot when paying its price tag. For starters, you're pretty much guaranteed that this product will last for years as it's built like a tank, uses contactless sensors to avoid wear and tear, and of course you get the Houston Vault name which, like I said, does carry a lot of weight. More than that, the company is also known for its great customer service, attention to detail, and you are getting a boutique product that is hand assembled in the Netherlands. But in summary, the Husenfeld MagShift is a little bit bittersweet. On one hand, it's built to last with a strong metal construction and a unique design that differentiates it from its competitors. The addition of the button box functionality and the customizable resistance settings are also very notable, unique, and actually useful features. However, the lack of an immersive tactile feedback, the somewhat tedious adjustment process, and the underwhelming in-game feel detracted from its overall value. And it's for this reason that it's hard for me to recommend this product at its current price tag. You see, when going for the top end of the segment, you have to be flawless. And I can't say this truly is, and especially not when I know from experience what else is out there. But of course, I am keen to know your thoughts on this product down in the comments below, so let me know if you agree or disagree with what I am saying. And as always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.